Hi guys, today we're going to go over managing users in Limbull. So to get started, go to Manage Users, and the first thing we're going to do is add a new user. So simply click this button here, type in their email address, their name, their phone number, and then choose what role they're going to have. So roles are important in Limbo. This is a way uh, for you to limit what someone can do inside of Limbo. Managers are able to do basically anything they want at their location. They can set up PM schedules, they can add assets, they can do a, a wide range of stuff. While a technician is limited, um, they can't change PM schedules, they can't add assets, they can't delete assets, and it's really designed so that your data is protected. Um, that you don't have a technician that doesn't know what they're doing come into Limbo and mess up the great setup that you have. And so just keep that in mind when you're assigning the, the role out to someone. If you want them to have the ability to add assets, set up PMs, most definitely make them a manager. But if it's just a tech that's going to be doing the PMs and all you really care about uh, them is having the ability to check off and mark and go do the work, then change the role most definitely to a technician. So once you have all this information filled out, you click add. And now what happens is it's added to your list here, but a welcome email is also sent out. In this case, it's sent out to John at john at limbalcms.com. And that welcome email gives instructions on how to download the app, what their username and password will be, and just all that basic information to get going. Additionally, in this section here, you'll notice a couple other um, pieces of information that weren't originally asked for. You can set a wage, which is used to calculate. So, for example, if John spent an hour on a PM, the labor cost would be $15. Now, don't worry. Um, not everyone inside Limbo can actually see the wage here. That's, again, where roles help break it apart. Only managers can actually see the wage in there um, or a super user. The super user basically gives the person uh, full access to all locations everywhere. They can do anything. Workday hours is how, how many hours each day does that person work? And that's helpful in the location dashboard and with setting estimated times so that you can see how much workload um, that person has and, and then not give them too much work because they may not be able to complete it in a day. Once you have all that set the way that you want, there's a couple other spots of managed users that I'd like to go over. And this is simply toggling whether someone's active or not. So say uh, years gone by, John's no longer working with us, I can simply come in and make him inactive. And now what that does is uh, keeps him inside the tool, but you can no longer log in and no longer interact with the tool. And the reason why that's important is John obviously had done work over the last year, and we want to be able to keep that, uh, that work history still inside the tool. Um, additionally, when you make someone inactive, uh, you're no longer charged for that if you're on the user-based subs subscription plan. The next section here is toggling whether they receive email communications or not. So throughout Limbo, we'll periodically email when someone gets a new task or when the scheduler assigns someone a new task or through alerts and other places like that. If you don't want that user to receive emails, you just simply click this and that marks it so that they won't receive emails. This here is for push notifications. Push notifications is just another way to notify your users of new work and other things like that. And if uh, you don't want them to receive push notifications, you go ahead and check that. A push notification is when the, your phone beeps. If you use Facebook at all, uh, Facebook does it all the time. When uh, someone comments on your post, you get a little beep on your phone saying so. Limbo does the same thing except for it's when tasks are assigned out or when someone comments on a task that belongs to you, that type of stuff. And of course, this lock here is just uh, sending a new password. Say John forgets his password and doesn't want to, um, or just can't find it. You can simply come in here, click this, and it will send him a new, a new email with a new password. Well, that's managing users. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us an email at mail at limbalcmms.com, or you can reach out to your dedicated CMMS advisor, or of course you can leave a comment in the section below. Um, we're always looking for ways to improve the tool, improve our tutorials, so please don't hesitate to reach out to us. So thank you for watching the tutorial, and you guys have a great day.